In business, Singapore's digital economy contributed 17.7% to GDP last year, surpassing that of the finance and insurance sector and on par with the manufacturing sector. Now, according to a report by the Infocom Media Development Authority, that's about $1 out of every $6 in the economy, with a total size amounting to $113 billion. Now, a third of this was driven by the information and communication sector. The rest came came from digitalization in sectors like finance, wholesale trade and manufacturing. Now, more SMEs also adopted digital tools in areas such as data analysis, cloud computing and e-payment services. Those that did reported average cost savings of 48%. Now, all these are supported by IMDA's programs, like industry plans that set out sector-specific digital solutions or a virtual crowdsourcing platform that provides more than 13,000 digital tools to address business problems. The tech sector remains a very key driver of Singapore's economy. The sector is also growing at more than twice the rate of the rest of the economy, at approximately 12%. I think this underscores the critical need for, I think, all companies, in particular SMEs, to embrace digitalization as both an enabler as well as a multiplier for growth. Singapore's Digital Economy Report also found that only 4.2% of SMEs adopt AI compared with 44% uptake for larger firms. They cite concerns like being too small and unprepared. Nicholas Ng finds out how some are tackling these issues. Picking a fan can be harder than it seems. Besides considering how many blades it has or if it can be controlled like a smart device, Customers can only ask these questions at the showroom during office hours. It's why this company got help to design a chatbot that can recommend products and troubleshoot issues 24-7. We are able to save some time for our people to focus on more complex issues and we provide a better opportunity for our people to upskill themselves um, in relation to that, we are able to get a co better compensation as compared to other companies whereby they didn't adopt AI. And by simply changing the data sets, this can be considered an off-the-shelf solution, something that fills a gap many businesses have.